Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic Exercises for Beginners. This exercise is called simply Baseball. A file called ale.txt contains information shown in Table 1. I'll show you the table in just a minute. We are to write a program that produces a text file, which I'll call ale2.txt, which should contain information shown in Table 2. Again, just a second in which the baseball teams are in descending order by the percentage of games won. So the first table is how our file is being supplied. We have a name of team, then a number of won games and number of lost games. And we are supposed to produce a file that will look like this. It will have the name of the team, the games won, the games lost, and then the percentage of the games won. And then order it in descending order from the highest to the lowest. So basically we are going to read a text file, we are going to calculate the percentage from the won and lost games, we will use that information and organize it in descending order and then we will write another text file uh, which will be a representation of this table too. So this is our form, as you can see there's just one button called create file when we click that button, we will read the input from the original text file and we will produce the new text file ale2.txt. Okay, so I'm in Visual Studio 2015. Here's my form, here's my button. So let's start coding. I'll double click the button and before I go any further, let me just show you the text file itself. This is what uh, we are supplied with. Here's the name of the team, then there's the games won and the number of games lost. And like I said, we need to produce a different file based on the percentages of games won. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create a variable, which I'll call new file. And that's going to be our output file. So I'm going to create a stream writer and create text that will I call ale2.txt, which will be our output text file. So here's my variable. It simply creates the actual output file into which we will be writing line by line uh, as we are getting our desired output. And the output will be produced and sorted within a link query. So I will create a query and the query will be from, uh, let's call it data, which is the variable name that is within my query. That's arbitrary, you can name it whatever you want. But we are looping in the input file. So I'm going to read all the lines from the original ale.txt file. So we are looping in io.file.read all lines. And we are reading the original file, like I said, which is called ale.txt. And as we read each line, I'm going to create three variables, actually four. The first one will be the team name. The second one will be the number of wins for the team. The third one will be holding the number of losses for the team. And the fourth one will be the actual calculation of the percentages of the wins. So we are going to use a let. And the first one, like I said, will be a team, which is going to be a string. And if you look at the file, the team is the first record on the line. Then there's a comma. Then there's the number of wins, comma, and number of losses. So we can use string.split and split it to three indexes. Index number zero would be the name of the team. Index number one is the number of losses. I'm sorry, the number of wins, and index number two will be the number of losses. So team is coming from the data that to string, and we are going to split it. So we will use the split, and we are splitting it by the comma character, and we are using the index number zero. That's our team. The next record in the line is the number of wins. So we will do let wins, and it's going to be obviously an integer. Now we'll use the data that to string that split the same way we did before. However, since this is an integer, we have to convert it back to an integer. We need to use it to string first, just to use the split, because that's a string method. But then the result of that will be the number, and the number has to be converted back to an integer. So I'm gonna copy paste this. And of course, I'm gonna change the index to one, because that's the next record in line. And I'll put it all in parentheses. And before that, I'll just convert it to an integer using the cint. And then there's of course the number of losses, which is going to be the same way as the wins, but there will be an index number two. So these are our data 
from the text file. The team wins and losses. The team wins and losses. But the assignment wants us to calculate the percentages of wins and then order the data based on that in descending order and then actually write the data into our output file. So we need another variable and I'll call it percentage. And it's going to be a double. And the formula for that is very simple. We will simply do wins divided by the wins plus losses. And we can convert it to a double because these are integer values. So just to make sure that we don't lose any precision, I'll convert everything to double. So now we have our percentages and now we can order by that. So we can use our order by the percentages and we are ordering in descending order. So descending. And at the end we can format or select the formatted output. The formatted output is supposed to look like this. It's supposed to have the team name, then there should be a comma, then then one games, comma, lost games, comma, and then the percentages points. So we can simply do select statement and do just that. We can do our team, then concatenate a comma, then concatenate the wins, and another comma after that, then concatenate the losses, and a comma, and finally the percentages. Now the percentages I'll use a format and to string, and I'll format it to three percentages points. Again, we're supposed to have 0 0.586 instead of 58 0.6, which is basically what it is. It's 58.6%. So what it means that New York won 58.6% of their games. So I'm going to for use a format. So I'll coordinate again and I'll use just format the number and I'm formatting the percentage to string and I'm formatting it to three decimal places. As you can see, it says optional numeric value indicating how many places are displayed to the right of the decimal. And in this case, we want three. And this is our query. So all we have to do now is to loop through this query and output each line to our text file ale2.txt. So we will do a for loop and we are going to loop to the end of the query. So we will we'll loop to the query dot count minus one and we will write each line as we are querying through it or as we are looping through it. So we will do a new file dot write line and we are writing the line of the query that we are looping through of the index of i. Basically each index represents one line. And at the end of the loop, we can just close the file. So our new file dot close. And this is all there is to it. So uh, let's run it and see if it works. So here's my form, here's my button, I'll click it. And nothing really happened. Maybe we should have put a message box there at the end that says the file was written. But if I go to my debug folder here and refresh, you can see that now I have two files, ale.txt and ale2.txt. So let's open that one and here's my file and let's let's compare it to the output that we were supposed to get. The first should be New York with 95, 67 and 0 0.586 and that's exactly what we got. And the last one is Boston with 69 wins, 93 losses and 0 0.426 percentages, which is 42.6% of wins only. So it worked correctly. We got the output as expected. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.